Now, what's one thing the left wants more than anything else? Defund the police. Because if there's police around, then you start catching leftists in action. And then you have to fill the prison with who you caught. And it just so happens the people that keep getting caught don't quite fit within the narrative that all BLMers are innocent and all Republicans are evil people who are just arresting them for no reason. And here we can see that in real time. Take a look at a hero cop who made a very heroic pit stop with his car. Now, backstory, this guy was doing a street takeover where you're just trying to get to work, you're trying to have fun, and he's just pulling donuts in the middle of the intersection so fast. This has happened to me when I've been on the road, and it's very wild because a car can grip the pavement at any time and launch directly into your car. You could have your elderly grandmother there, you can have your dog in the back seat, and now you're in a huge car accident because some guy wanted to show you how fast he can drive in circles in the middle of the interstate or the intersection. This is ridiculous. Well, watch what happens when this guy tries to do a street takeover. Cop catches him right at the right moment and launches into action like an actual movie, like Beverly Hills Cop, like every TV show you've ever seen. It happened in real life, only in Georgia. This is why defund the police is a bad idea. And there the cop goes, sliding over the hood, gun out, pulling the guy by the hair. Turns out he was an Antifa BLMer. That doesn't always mean black person. BLMers, people who love BLM, are just criminals of all different ethnicities that hide behind the BLM logo. Like, no more police, please, so I can rob your Walgreens. So that's exactly what happened. Now, I wanted you to see up close. This guy has photos of him jumping over the hood. And the state trooper is like a celebrity now. Look at this photo of this guy. I mean, hello. Is that not what you want to see? He looks like he has some arm tattoos. Uh, he's fully flexed. He's got his knee on the back of the BLMer, who is a Caucasian BLMer, but that doesn't much matter. Um, I'm going to walk you through how that became the coolest poster ever. That should be on every recruitment uh, video. Then here comes Washington Post with their infinite wisdom. Some leftist who went to college and came out saying, this is not right. And they want to inform you that this pit maneuver where you push the car to one side and bring it to a complete stop, this pit maneuver has killed at least 30 people since 2016. <laughs> what year are we in right now? 2023? So. 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Eight years, this maneuver has killed 30 people. You know what the Washington Post doesn't tell you? How many lives has this maneuver saved since 2016? I'm guessing three, 400 people. When we go and watch that video again, focus, BLMers, focus on the people getting hit by this guy's car as he's trying to evade the police. Now, they call the police pit maneuver which has killed 30 people in eight years. A deadly force behind the wheel. When will these cops be stopped? Had he kept driving, how many more black people would he have hit and crushed and run over? But Black Lives Matter doesn't care about black lives. They only care about demonizing the police, demonizing Donald Trump, demonizing the conservatives, the Republicans, and demonizing you. Do you agree or disagree? Put it in the comments. Call me a racist, white supremacist, Republican, rapist. That's what you do if you're on the left because you have no argument. <laughs>